Hello there and welcome to Runtime Recruitment. This is Lance. So somebody on YouTube wanted to ask me how long the boot time was for the different operating systems that I have installed. So I've got Ubuntu Desktop, Windows 10 and Ubuntu Server. So here's a test, a quick test of the boot time. So I'm going to be using my iPhone timer on here and I'm going to, so we've got it set to boot from Windows. So we're going to select that as the first one to boot from. So let's just get ready. I'm going to push these two, two keys together and start. So 10 seconds, 11, 12, 15, 17, 18, bang. So around 20 seconds. So make a note of that, that's 20 seconds for Windows 10 to boot up. So we're going to restart the board and we're going to measure the same thing with Ubuntu Desktop and Ubuntu Server. We're now going to switch over to Ubuntu to Desktop and see how long that takes to boot. So here we go, it started. So this is Ubuntu Desktop. See how long it takes to boot up Ubuntu Desktop. A bit longer, almost there, coming up. Oops, there you go. So 27 seconds, 26 seconds. So this is booting from the eMMC memory. That's the Ubuntu desktop. Windows 10 was booting from the SSD 128 gig memory card that I bought with the unit. So these are similar kind of, you can see the similar kind of boot. So it seems like the difference between Windows 10 booting up, which is around 19 seconds or 20 seconds compared to Ubuntu desktop, which is around 27 seconds. There's a difference of about seven seconds between the two kernels, both booting from solid state memory, one from eMMC memory and one from SSD memory. So that's kind of the difference. It's very close because the medium, uh, access medium, the storage medium uh, has the same sort of access times. But obviously there's a difference between the two kernels, one being Windows 10 and one being U uh, Ubuntu Linux. Now we're going to boot Ubuntu server, but we're going to boot it from the hard drive that I got, I got connected over there. Just there. Here we go, this is the Ubuntu server. And off it goes. This is booting from the hard drive. And because it's a slow medium, you, it's bound to take a bit longer to boot up. So let's see how long it takes. So there you go, it's loading the kernel. It's uh, configuring all the device drivers, etc. Searching for the network. And we're up to 18, 19 seconds. It should actually load fairly quickly. One thing is you've got to make sure you keep connect the Ethernet cable, otherwise it's going to scan for different types of connectivity and it will basically wait and time out. So 35 seconds, obviously a little bit longer than Windows, but then it's a slow medium, so you expect it to take a bit longer to load up. Almost there now, and it should be completing there, it's done. So 46, 47 seconds to boot Ubuntu server from the hard drive. So that's Udo x86, the three different boot times. And by the way, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and we'll be posting more of these types of embedded systems uh, videos um, up on a regular, more regular basis. If you're interested in seeking work, you may want to check out our website, runtimerec.com. And if you're also, if you're a manager and you're looking to hire embedded software engineers or embedded hardware engineers, give us a shout and then we may be able to help you out. So have a good one. Cheers.